seemed like yesterday since I'd seen you. So here comes the sun, and it's all right now. It's just that I don't care and want to be a rebel now. Nor is it like I don't want to hang around. No mistakes. I'll be making my own mistakes. Finding me out on the fringes of the wild, where the wild things are. And no one notices me, still. Where did all the grace go? So I left. You can tell all your friends, alright? I'm ready now, taking it all in. If I left with no shoes, my mind is never mine. If I left with no shoes... Stop. <laughs> What's that? If I left with no shoes, my mind is never mine. Like it sounds, I was thinking it sounds so cool. Like it's alright, man. That's it. Those who can't lift their own up, what, what to bother me? Now, I'm worried about the paycheck. I believe in the new world order to an extent. Blaze up. I'm anxious, and you're too near me. Don't look for me in the struggle. I was left alone to wither in my own flaws and grief. Major threat is a reminder of truth society was built to be forgotten. The soul is a caged beast. Awareness and knowledge can ruin a lot of things. Know the secrets of others? Pay me. Personal injury can get one entangled with another, so I'm pretty. So I left. <laughs> so I left. You can tell all your friends, alright? I'm ready now. Taking it all in. If I left with no shoes, my mind is never mine. Hold your hands. Wanted everything now. I want to go anywhere. Maybe I could, I could have planned it better. Maybe I'll end up making something of myself. Managed to keep myself alive so far. It's not like I want to renegade, breaking all the rules. So remember that I had always loved you. Had the feeling of grace. But since you didn't notice, I'm going away. My old life had nothing but problems. But someone had to live it. It'll, I'll entertain myself until I find meaning. Hoping things will be better. Fast enough to find heaven. Maybe I'll die this way. I still have the feeling I could be someone. And it's okay that we're not the same. Just don't hurt yourself. I could have been more. Could have lived more. I saw it from the gate. That life had nothing else but issues. So don't say I didn't tell you. And as it turned out, it never loved me. Had to go figure. So we're clear, in a way, I'm glad I don't know you. So please don't come closer. No need to please, because it's over. Why worship idols when one could pass them? Pause. <laughs> oh, uh, how does all this come to you? <laughs> Okay. Yep. I want to live so far that it's strange to think of you. Reading poetry aloud, feeling the rhyme alive, weeping to know how you suffered. There, there is no book of answers using my imagination to figure it out. Trapped, screaming with life, no longer worshipping it. Longing for death, not even immigrants, but aliens in this reality. Oh. I wish I could say farewell to you, but the memory of you will never leave. As my heart searches for remedy, I saw you. I witnessed it all, going mad, running past po poverty, right into the arms of destitute, taking your clothes off and nothing is here. As poetry failed us, there is no sentimentality to life. Enduring experience and all that is, all that is all, right? Soul is a caged beast. Awareness and knowledge can ruin a lot of things. Know the secrets of others? Pay me. Personal intrigue can get one entangled with another. I'm so pretty. Don't do it to me. You'll leave. Can't keep up. Pause.
on contraband. So you'll find another, latch onto them, cause them pain. You go tell someone, rub my tummy, get your fix. I'd love to expose your secrets just to see you cry. Cutting your old soul down into little pieces. Don't resent my hate. There's a method of everyone's strange madness. Look what you've done. Coming from me must be a far cry. Memories. Make sure you fill your heart with pain. Nothing I can do can get me closer to happiness. Maybe the quest of time. To know myself than to pursue how to apply it in reality. Old killer people take away my coffee. The rapture will be called a lot. No philosophy that can be created that is so definite that everything will break. Read JFK conspiracy theories because, you know, the fuck it's. But there is a philosophy that will change the human condition. Expanding the conscious mind, overtaking the metaphysical subconsciousness, regretting much, exploding head like a glass bottle breaking because of the blood, stressing the individual. Have you ever met someone that you have always dreamed of? It's a realistic acceptance. Sabotaging everything that one had formerly believed about love and romance. I had personally been seeking a personal revelation when it happened. Everyone left. I wanted knowledge from a higher power, and I found it. Not in the forms of rituals or anthropomorphic deity. Noticing the scrutiny that the mystics have of speaking of egotistical, selfish, no, I cannot fully part from myself. I can't even display the images of my life, confronting in a violent way. If you want the people around you to change, you change yourself. Scribbling of ancient tests and curious doctrine journals. Touches of divine strokes of myth. Alone in fact. I told you that I loved you. Mighty mortals can only be immortalised in art, in images forever. Poets love it. Smile for me now, princess. The aftermath. I wish I could say farewell to you, but the memory of you will never leave. As my heart searches for remedy, I saw you, I witnessed it all, going mad. Running past poverty, riding to the arms of destitute, destitution. Taking your clothes off, and nothing is here. As poetry failed us, there is no sem sentimentality to life. Enduring experience, and all... <laughs> <laughs> Enduring experience, and that is all. It's obscene. I can smell the stench. My hands could never touch you. Touching the flesh of poetry deepens my sadness, and my hopes are shattered. The constellations are gone, bursting. Not in fireflies. My eyes open. Every time they go instantly in search for you, to match my open palms, as to say... I no longer can touch you. Every time I open my mouth, my heart demands for a response from you, and my soul is no longer feeling love. I am no longer the same. Those times I held you in my arms, when we connected and merged, haunts me. Forgetting you will never... Forgetting you will take forever, as poetry had promised that love is a dynasty. This is all. And some... And somewhere, someone else has turned into another angel because their heart is with you. I pray that I can stop loving you and but instead. I pray to God that this will be the last pain I suffer. It isn't that life comes to an end and what makes it all heartbreaking. But aren't you something to admire? But who knew? I thought you were original, ref reflecting replications. In my hands are nothing but souls, wrestling inside. I understood from an early age that it wasn't held to the daughters, but binded in eternity that the femme had secrets. I thought she had a poem to tell. At the end of love, the start of war, needed to be alone and why not? Pretty deep, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
I doubt this the words that people say to each other to me, even if they have been written in poetry and shame, speechless purity, speeches. You could be anyone in this lifetime, but right now you are who you are. If it feels like I'm speaking to you, I am. A tumbler of gin, vodka of bourbon, used as a fuel to use the typewriter. I've never done Pilates. I look forward to the most illuminating experience in life. Elegant scenes in theatre, we're putting on a front, people come and go all the time. Like bin bags. Can anyone a motherfucker create art? Poetry, 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 poetry. Well, we've all got flaws. I know of yours and loved you all the same. I used to watch pro wrestling. It's bravely wanting to be yourself, admiring those. Don't get up. Don't get in. Empath confused with passion. In reality, I'm a brief moment. I'm so pretty, like a plucked flower head, then left on the ground to die and wither. Fading deep into your memory. Got your fix? Go and tell someone knowing that you isn't contraband. Better tell someone. Get your fix. Loneliness and despair possess on the streets of your soul. Is this reality something you created? Brilliantly constructed depression. Vulnerability gets people's attention. It's addictive, isn't it? Poetry is a summary of sigh. It's so pretty. Built to be poetic. It's definitely. Not everyone can build to be the person you've always wanted to be. It's out of the league. So you self-destruct. Take caution now. Look what you do. Look what you go. A repetition of personal history. Living in vain. Stupor and ignorance. Coming alive only in fantasy. Clean your face with a sharp knife. Death brings enormous relief. Look what you got. Flushed and framed. Mistakes talk. Moments of life like bandits. You can't get closer to blissful heaven. So you can't ivory into pieces. Stepping over broken glass. You're not what you think. The life that you want isn't out of reach. It's just knowing how to handle it that makes it all the absurd. Denial is so strong. Disappointment is the foundation of reality. A dickery of silver and gold. Consciousness has limits, not the... Okay, go. Uh, Got a drink, but it's no bourbon. Stepped out. Left the community, stepped into the reality of truth. Now the constellations want me. Assimilating into myth. Going too close to the sun. All dreams melt away. And there is no holier space than the utterly embellished in the realm of two lovers. Darker the night, the deeper the grief. But anyone, anywhere, at any time, can see the evil that lives inside. Allowing room for hell to breathe. So please don't provoke it now and take it slow. As some have diamonds to go out with their birthright, some belong to a national estate, nothing to hang on to. Disconnected, empty and aimless, passing the point of redeeming the damage done by the hands, where in the moment it seems like a minor detour, cutting people off and not giving it a thought to it. Cutting people off and not giving it a thought. While while in youth, lost in fever, is that right? No, oh. while in youth, lost in fever. Darkening your own world while sparkling another's existence. It wasn't that they were playing by their own rules. They were running from maturity. Using you to be stepped over. All because of the comfort of sexuality lays in the lover. But all I love too. Cherished. Just with the wrong. For all I love too. Cherished. Just with the wrong. In retrospect, none of it was sacred. Just a distracting mistress, escaping from all too many intruding emotions. Reading femininity, quotes are frivolous at times, just serving with words. Comparison to another, 
premise for not only for the the premise for not only arguments but envy to jealousy futile living the poetic life as gang members a personal revelation finally the search of personal ori originality hating others than oneself no longer serves unbonding binds to everyday life because he seems like he is good for you getting getting you to feel the distraction in adequacy oh. getting you to feel the distraction of inadequacy even though your friends say that he is good for does he know that the trauma spawns from meeting him but you should be with him because all dividends from face value poetics amplified when you're only living the ordinary life does he know that there is a malice that lives inside where it truly lies marked passion it's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> steep as fuck man I doubt this the words that people say to each other to me even if they have been written in poetry and shame in speechless purity speeches you could be anyone in this lifetime but right now you are who you are if it feels like i'm speaking to you i am a tumbler of gin vodka of bourbon used as a fuel to use the typewriter i've never done pilates i look forward to the most illuminating experience in life elegant scenes in theater we put in on a front people come and go all the time like bin bags can anyone a motherfucker create art? Poetry, 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 poetry. Well, we've all got flaws. I know of yours and loved you all the same. I used to watch pro wrestling. It's bravely wanting to be yourself, admiring those. Don't get up. Don't get in. Empath confused with passion. In reality, I'm a brief moment. I'm so pretty, like a plucked flower head. Then left on the ground to die and wither. Fading deep into your memory. Got your fix? Go and tell someone knowing that you is contraband. Better tell someone. Get your fix. Loneliness and despair possess on the streets of your soul. Is this reality something you created? Brilliantly constructed depression. Vulnerability gets people's attention. It's addictive, isn't it? Poetry is a summary of sigh. So pretty, built to be poetic, it's deafening. Not everyone can build to be the person you've always wanted to be. It's out of the league, so you self-destruct. Take caution now. Look what you do. Look what you go. A repetition of personal history, living in vain, stupor and ignorance, coming alive only in fantasy, clean your face with a sharp knife, Death brings enormous relief. Look what you got. Flushed and framed. Mistakes talk. Moments of life like bandits. You can't get closer to blissful heaven. So you can't ivory into pieces. Stepping over broken glass. You're not what you think. The life that you want isn't out of reach. It's just knowing how to handle it that makes it all the absurd. Denial is so strong. Disappointment is the foundation of reality, a dickery of silver and gold. Consciousness has limits, not the masses' fault. Block to block, your own character, a fragment of popular trends blazing up. I'll see if you get free. If not, I'll drop in here and then, into a self-made hell. Angst and anxiety. I see clearly in your two near. One way or another, you'll be giving it up. Wanted to. I've actually got a couple of books out and I've just sat down and I've read and I've gone 10 pages in and I just think, uh, you know, I just, I've decided it's not my thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I get that. And I'm like, I'll just wait till the movie comes out. <laughs> that's my, that's, that's what we all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, let's go. Uh, whenever you're ready. Yep. I wanted to exceed the rest, surpassing all personal greed, where jealousy, envy, bile, hate, resentment, worry, Sadness, 
not even no longer had any meaning, but lost the life of such. We had no sense of ownership, so it's moral for me to share. Real, perhaps an unholy dream, for I've seen that other world. I don't want lovers only, poets too. Marching towards purity spawn. Be with me now. Smile for me. For where, for where does it come from? I had heard those psalms that pleased our Lord. To no war could put it out. Not even the study of philosophy could cure poetic answers. Our lifestyles are reported, backstabbing vultures to be wanting homages in all cultures. That transcends any culture. But it's to milk the mass only. Sure, a moral person makes mistakes. Institutes have lost their way. The daily routine conjures in action under a naive narrative that it has the answers. Still, amateurs drink piss from a cup of gatekeepers. The pool of mythology, countless tales of legend, lessons of truth, morals and humility are being passed around like paid vixen or a boy that's here to do the labour. While looking at the Last Supper, notice Leonardo's vibrance, the use of colour tones, the heaviness of dark, intellectual arguments are back and forth like red and meth as the mass continues to suffocate to collect their fucking pay. Reducing art, photos, memory, to vain language, so so on, longing for original. Since human life is bound for death, providing... Whoa, stop. <laughs> what the hell is that? Where, where was it? Nihilism. No, I oh, have. One way or another, you'll be given it up, and it won't stop. Drop in at the validation of another. Maybe life is just meant only for the living. And if you're real, no one really cares about you. Rendering suicide painless, death is the moment later. Where individuals can live, so can hell. I speak with honesty and say, it's for your own needs. So it's not a whatever reality. You'll die hopeless. Rabbits, goats, cats and dogs can't compare to snakes in the grass from the marijuana smoke. Don't choke. Hail Mary. I don't want to rape, just hate. Seizure in there. If you're a bachelor for life, impregnate a tree. Don't be dead wrong. Tie her up, push her off a cliff, smoke in the darkness, spread the blood over the stillborn. Poetry consoles by inner soul. Salt over the wounds. Experiences. It will be a life I've told you I've never thought of death. Very few people can really, truly illuminate anything. Most are only copycats. Poverty of the soul. So they took to other people's words to be snatching. No one works of genius. Be left alone. People get jealous when you can't hold your own. I can't talk of the devil or the evil out of people. But I can talk of the evil, my own evil. It's a part of everything. Can't make genuine connections, so you'd do it in a sleazy way. All artists have idle dreams of being famous. There's an internal battle of insecurity, so those that can't lift up their own want to bother me. Now I'm worried about the paycheck. I believe in the new world order to an extent. Blaze up. I'm anxious and you're too little. Don't look for the struggle. I was left alone to wither of my own flaws and grief. Major threat as a reminder of truth society was built to be forgotten. I've read that page. Alright, what are you ready? Reproducing art, photos, memory, conveying language, so on, longing for original. Since human life is bound for death, providing nihilism motivation to be hell bound than to be hell down. As Adam Finger points out, we all fall short in touching God. The shape of that painting matches the human brain. It is hard to accept no one can make it on their own. I still stand by that symbols that translate where language and actions can't convey. Since writing in my diary entries, 
I think I've been using those my vlogs include included that I am trying to replace conversations. I would have I oh, will not stop. That's right. There you go. I'm just going to start it again. Oh, okay. yeah, sorry. Yeah. Let me just read it before we go. Memories immortalize the panorama of drama and broken promises. It's a current mind state. Now you know why I don't read books. Because <laughs> <Sorry, Tara. laughs> yeah. in my mind, I'm start, stop, start, stop. You can tell it's not, I can tell it's not flowing how, how it's written. <laughs> yeah. it's, you, you, you're offering to be providing a different sound. Okay. Good. That's good. <laughs> okay, so. Since writing in my diary entries, I think I've been using those. My vlogs included that I'm trying to replace conversations I would have if I had constant friendships. At times it's largely overlooked that it's emotionally exhausting to carry on, knowing life is hard. And that's the starting point. Generally, always. Scenes from Taxi Driver are about the lonely experience of, of wanting the rain to wash away the filth of humanity. Neither Shakespeare nor Mozart won't go away. I've got no one I could talk to. I mean, no one I feel comfortable with. In doing so, perhaps it's more like, perhaps it's more likely me, in my lack of emotional development. Okay, that's this is this is you been talking about you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Are the statues from Rome or Greece? I always start and stop. Fair enough. That can be that can be on me. Sometimes things happen outside my control. Sleep is weird. Sleep is a normal human act to do so. Work, chores and so on. But I don't think I've ever found anyone I could melt in with a source of friendship. I journal in some sort of way in diary entries. Often I write about my day with some random thoughts, morals and so on. I won't be writing those if I had daily conversations. These lists are larger formatted forms. My vlogs are visual expressions. On a side note, I do sometimes take photos of where I am when I have enough of them. I put them into an ebook. I don't normally push any of that. An area I've been slacking on. <laughs> yeah. I don't normally push any of that. An area I've been slacking on. Being able to read others' philosophical works. How could I repay you? Well, cultural patterns, journals, diaries, blogs, vlogs, letters, and so on are starting points. But on the same level, further, furthermore, the level of modern illusions has increased seemingly, starting from social issues. It's like it's touching so many hallucinations. I don't think anyone truly knows how fragile their world is when you're intellectual or emotional underdeveloped. It's often stricken up as a, as a personal issue, though. When one looks into the moral matrix and social norms, one is wondering how anyone got here. No one ever holds me accountable. I'm left alone. What will ever be the spark that lights the tinder for personal growth? That kills the arrogance attached to the ego. To allow actual... To, to allow actual... Oh, blah, blah, blah. No one ever holds me accountable. I'm left alone. What will be the spark that lights the tinder for personal growth? That kills the arrogance attached to the ego to allow actual hum humility in someone. It can't be solely moth to the flame or an own transcending into human soul. Because it seems that that distracts you from sitting still. Allowing thoughts to wander that quite potentially sparking emotions they remind me from reality. They remind one from reality. Making you feel like the way you want, as angels sing, it's a distraction. But, but does your demons know that you can call in vulnerable moments of clarity? Tell me, do the demons know where your heart lies or even the words spoken to make it? No. That's right. <laughs> Tell me, do the demons know where your heart lies or even the words 
spoken to make it? As all your friends say, it's not for you. Do your demons know that you look at me when they're not around? Or even know the reasons why you cry? Where does it all truly lie? My tattooed chest can't be the place. I don't want to die today. Do your demons know that when no one is looking? Do your demons know that when no one is looking? I can see you looking at me. Oh boy, running away in Paris. Consequences are everywhere. Being in services towards others, in a veil of. But it's to cover up nowhere to go. At moments, the mind flickers reminders. There is a difference between doing wrong, being wrong, being stoically virtuous, or being victimized by the small external world around us. Oh, oh, don't you know, when you amplify or leave out a lie, it heightens the ugly of it. Even if it stems from the truth, held from lived experience. Get and feel, having words spit for the real, just to have the reader get up and feel, to fuck around, to start an emotional riot, never knowing that, never knowing that identity gives us a force of meaning, finding it, mastering it, experiencing the loss or grieving in the death of coping mechanisms that we had grown so attached to. So, so the identity can be applied as diluted daily actions. Finally, people are taking about toxic positive. Finally, people are talking about toxic positive affirmations. Those elicit such can do vibes. Finally, those people. Have a, <laughs> don't worry, you can fix that. I hope. Finally, people are talking about toxic positive affirmations. Those elicit such as do vibes. That that philosophy depending on law of attraction, but flaws. I dare say, are personal diseases. They corrupt regardless of the result. Ignorance is a flaw. It's caused more damage to people than on an individual level. Anyone would ever... It causes more damage to people that... And that it causes more damage to people than on the individual level. Anyone would ever admit. And suddenly there are abused children, battered wives, the unemployed... A welfare state, or a portion of it, allows the allows the absolves. Lacking effort to and formal publication of understanding towards mental illness. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's why I figured the stop was there. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's kind of all good. Whatever you do. So memories immortalized a panorama of drama and broken promises. It's a current life state. Having sex with animals? A habit I've haven't kicked yet. I won't need human flesh. Not unless it's fresh. Seen with vigor. Physical art is living itself. I'm a skeptic with God, but I believe in the devil. It will be a slow process, but I will haunt your dreams. Still better when you've got people in your life that love you. You just push them away, not getting fired all the time, dreaming passionate life, relaxing with the smoke after experiences to fill our memories, but you won't step out because you're choke. Devoted flowers of musings, why should I with all my hate? Pay me, what you owe me, you'll find some dead bodies all over your block. Wisdom never found in this world, I miss my mystic friends and it's not a good feeling. Not everyone is original. I'm blessed to know another person, a bright silk. My purpose is to die hopeful. I've been living hopeless. What's a smile? When it gets dark outside, I step into myself, but I can't escape. The melodramatics have imprinted upon me. I can't escape the jar of emotions as futile. Get your smoke on. Living is extremely selfish. A restless sighs. There is going to be some stuff that will make it hard to smile in the future. I would rather be buried. Hellbound than being held down. Just to be stepped on. I've lost all me. Since my life is based on mistakes trying to avoid, I've lost on, on, on the way trying to find myself. 
Maybe death will be a brief relief. I hope there'll be nothing left, or at least lost all memory. Cowardly heart and sense confirmity and comforting truth I've been creating myself. But that's a mistake to do. It's a lonely life. The greatest idol in human history is love. Leave the lamb alone and eat the apple. It's a priceless privilege of human nature and the ability to think and feel. Pass the ancient heavenly. Let the smoke fill out the rooms like it does with the lungs. When I was younger, my drive was to be accepted. But then I learned God doesn't like us. Tickle me, I don't think heaven is jealous. I've been years of life and still in the face of fears change. Not only in evil, but only in evil. But humanity seems to be only a series of losses and constant changes. I've made it out. Why are you trying to pull me back down? Kiss me, then kill me. Evidence of Eden has been written down. I'm no good. Quit pretending. His knife will be cutting your skin. Knife in Adam's apple. Sell the feast. We're born with original sin. So it's not mindless violence. Shifting morality. It gets you to punch out back and win. To every secret I know, I've written it down. To every affair I've had. Arch passage. Go under into your soul. Oh, exposed. Darkening lights. Verbal apologies aren't good enough. Pressing your conscience just makes me feel better. I've done something with my life. No made up shit. Your fault. Confusing it with truth and arrival just to get some boycott. Borderline and pedophilia. Brief moments of relief and distraction. When they finish, stuck yourself so you're stuck with yourself. For those who want to win, so too many movies. Green poetry all the time. There's plenty of ways to die, plenty of ways to live. A penchant of slavish terror. Distrust everyone. Knows. Kill everyone. Only people who told me I'm special are the ones who left. I got warned not to hang with the Masons, but they're based on loyalty. It's pointless creating yourself. Trapped in a world where it's easier to vice than to act on virtue. I've heard the last words of eight people. Suicide is painless. Yes, life isn't fair, and only the strong survive. It's what happens when you can Blame the middle class if you want. Doing time for the secrets in the dark, not knowing why for. I'm paranoid. The trust is a no-no. Smack them. If you're going to, make sure you break them. Life is a mystery. Good nature is artificial. Maybe a small thing for you. With emotions, it's hard to forgive. I want to die like a star, while people starve. Breaking all the rules. Sever a person's roots. My diary has names, lone rules, don't worry where it is. Secrets are the most unlike. Sorry, I'm distracted. All the rules, several person's rules. My diary has names, lone rules, don't worry where it is. Secrets are in the most unlikely places. Something more to it? I've been told I'm special, news like. Strange and intriguing, everything, with a tenacious attitude, passion, whatever. When you pour your soul into another's ears, stuttering words into rustic soul, the best way to keep secrets, listen to Buddha. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Information is a motherfucker. I don't know why I'm making this movie. I'm not innocent myself. The more I leave out, what I leave in shines more. Shifting blame? No.
left to be alone, with loyals telling you, we told you so. But life is a ride or die situation. Hardship, pain, sorrow, a definite in this life. Poetry, amends, corrections optional. Don't focus on art, puff out your chest. Focus on your heart. Regret everything in life but one and regret everything in life but one and you have done. No one is ever born great. What are you going to do? Do not fuck everyone in the meat. Wrapping their heart around you, busting doors open, immortalizing your shame. Don't tell them they're special. If nobody ain't gonna stay around. You never did anything. Never pop nothing. Can't coexist and coexist with yourself. Press your own coin in this. Don't attach yourself onto another. You can't pay risk. Trouble's got your attention, but you live through another. I ain't going to tell anyone your secrets. Inside the mind, I'm able to escape. Still soaking up trouble is hellish enough. Too much hope and illusions inside. Repeat, pay or marry. The devil pays thousands for vices for five cents for your soul. My family is checked in my bedroom. I'm not there. Fading gloom, moon facade. I have a heavy heart. It's an influence that holds me, breaching and passing the soul. I think people wives are overwhelmed by bullshit, covenant and sacred. It's hard to be remorseful, narrative and selfish. Somehow, this still pieces me. Now I'm distant, lucid. Always, but never lavishing of life. The size of the mountains and the size of, and the size of one arm and nut. Emotions are afflictions, innocent to evil. A slow fuse. Life itself is never poetic. Maybe the soul of some people. One poem can relish one moment of life. Talks afterwards, trying to translate words into images on a backdrop of vulnerability. Moods and feelings hardly express that I'm in a constant empty space, the sideways, never to be cared for. Reject what I say, reject what others have told you. My soul melted. I'm not as strong as I would like to be. Sickness, the shade of brief moments of life that I have lived. Let go, like running water over my open, equal to the wilderness of a person's internal life. Tragedy is everywhere. A facial expression is a shield for the soul craving salvation now. That seems to be everlasting. It's relentless and seems to be obliging us to cry. That is, a crying sob that will never stop. Violet light, death is a final slumber. What is death? I'm very vulnerable. Poetry imports me a boot, wanting to drench humanity things that have never experienced. Silent centre, inward conflict. I have an obsessed, obsessive character. I am consumed by my own self. I want to die. We're all travelling alone. A woman in poetry, words here, words I should have said. While this is the present moment, an outbreak of foreign emotions, discovering words, I gained words. The world gained my emotions. Regret, shame, guilt, resentment, in bulk, I'll write my poetry. Never release them in singular fashion. I do not want love and romance, but content and living memories, happiness. I want to be divorced from the pain. Life is short. My regret is so large. I love the arts. At least I can contribute to them. I have a long way to go. Will death be my only answer? As I know, youth belongs to the young. Death, or should I say, dying, is an adult thing. Life goes on, incomplete. I'll have to mourn for, even when faced with my own death. I mean, don't you know something is coming along that's going to completely throw you off? There's an inherent quality that life has to bring to us. No need to protest, it won't change. With cigarette smoke filling my body, inflating my lungs, 
I'm writing these words. Pockets full of answers. Discovering new names. I'm far too gone to belong to another. I yearn for the love in the lover. Along with strings of moments, stemming life for, I leave this here. I'm carrying over, leaving this here. At the time of my death, I hope people find this, to know that I'd lived in some way. I'm far too intelligent or victim to having faith in an ideology that thinks for me. I had thought, went out, and did. To know that I ended up in life at a point that I never asked for, never expected, but originally wanted. Some, I wish it wasn't. It is as it is. This is life in simple English words. Reading well, such as your own emotions. I feel a few holy things can, cannot pass up on. Conducting, or should I say, trying to govern myself. Something I've mastered within myself. Shots rang out. Injuries to my heart. It is a real lonely thing. I had, re- I had to read and find the words to speak proper and well. I'm fully accepted. Being sad or yearning in poetry isn't unique. Actually, it's more of a normal to be mass learned to read. Are my words only written for you? The tone? The structure? I don't know what my agenda is. I feel everything. Maybe I'm only randomly searching for my own original thought through the act of literature. Maybe it's my wishful thinking of hoping to encounter something magical, like a muse before their own death. Isn't this another way to say I'm fearful of just being alone? Some things are meant to happen. Hashtag that. The representation of human nature is far beyond literature only. The words written are only a, such a small part of the brain. Traits are everywhere. I'm yawning, I'm excited, I need sleep, but I want to impress. Those famed poets will never be killed for such human acts of anxiety and death, no matter what their mastery of words, philosophical messages that they leave behind, nor their narrative, fiction or not. Leaving behind raw, handwritten notes to my lover, Still, I think everything about you is poetry, loaded with a heart-beating life. Expressions, metaphors, pushing. Poetics in my voice, living, transcendental. Judgment day has not arrived. Beauty, flesh, flushing of my own character. My hair is done, nails finished. So I spoke up and spoke with elegance. My attitude is neutral. Listen to me and I shall pass. Mystique, but underwhelming. Like I'm familiar already. You've heard my voice before, I've always been. My art won't be cemented into gold marble. Perhaps salt on a wound along the way to the afterlife? Perhaps. For I still crave rendering the poor. Contentments belong only to the rich. Lust in words. From entertaining ways, mystics know the difference between you and me. But with me now, I'm not in love. Will I ever not? I'm releasing tension in the meantime. I don't want anything painful to be felt. There should be a good enough reason to never feel again. And why not? Love on repeat. My mind is hazy. I had red letters of lovers that once had shared, that they once shared between them. I was in awe. My mouth dropped and cried tears of joy reading them, knowing that love had a moment of existence. Salute, lover, your reign in a kingdom few have ever known. Why can't love be like that in the movies? Why can't it be like that? The words would seem better if I was telling you in person. Never again I will see you. Poetry has always been underrated, like Ruby. Been pulled from the abyss, torn in the light, afflicted. I found my own values, war with the universal morals. The muse will not save me. At the moment, this is the best I can do. Mourn and want. Leave me alone. 
the sun is finally leaving the sand, going behind the line that we call the horizon. Glitter in the night sky, sparkle, tragedy is everywhere. It's not normal. That's the tea jerk. do want to be held. That's all. Death reigns all. Praise it. If you like it, if you like my heart, then I'm so sorry. I'm not going to give it away to my views. Because I was too much for you. It's what lovers do. Fuck it. Why not? Plus, you left your heart at home. I wanted everything so no one gets hurt. My muse is unforgettable. Because I was alone with it and got to tell everyone. It's like I don't know you anymore. I looked, I took the price tag off and made love priceless again. I'm not going to take the in-between, sleeping under the cover. Know how I'm so far away. Heartbreak is so different to what you once were. Kisses are cold. Little knowing the devil, like knowing the devil in intimate fashions. What's got you holding on for? Your tongue isn't speaking. What has it? Speak your truth so, no, so the ether knows it well. And you know a gold girl already. If we're going to do a real war, won't be able to handle one. Now you old, old dog every day. I'll stay and you'll leave. After all, I'm the one I can handle forever and carry on with being an adult. Contender, we all want to fly with. To be high with you, we all know your face. We all scream your name, never again alone. To every boy who broke the girl's heart, I'll stand and punch their mouths. Now I know better, forever. Who knew? I remember when Grace Kelly became queen. Audrey Hepburn smiled for the first time. I wish I could call everyone a friend. Pictures of my smiles burn in my memory. Please smile for me. Now I'm heartbroken writing, heart-touching poetry that's given me fame, fortune, attention. Now I'm immortalised in pictures, red lights, lust and lies. No, anything happens under the Hollywood sun. No, everything generally does. Despite myself putting my own figure into this frame of yearning and pity, a person's character can be so dormant at Flushing with celebrities on the cover of magazines, late nights, vices and news. We all want to shine. Can I really blame people for trying to get what they can? So far, it's the story of my life. Sorrow in my soul. It really seems to love hanging out, but it kills me inside. Girl missing 101. <laughs> I had to get that on camera, yeah. Uh, enjoy, you don't have to read, yeah. I had to get that on camera. Not normally this choppy. I know, yeah. What can go wrong will go wrong. Murphy was a fucking off. Think of all the 
shit that's lying in the bottom of the pool. That's where the quarantine boats used to pull up. Back when the pond oh, was done. What do you mean? Oh. When the boats were coming from Europe. Oh, okay. About 200 years back. Oh, okay, yeah. When the settlement was started. The ships would pull up and anchor here for, for months yeah. to ensure that there was no disease oh, on okay, the ship. Yeah. So they won't bring in disease and plague and everything into the community. Oh. But right here, they used to anchor. Oh, yeah. There's a plaque over on that building there. No thought is above critique. One of my regrets in addiction is the length of duration of defending myself by telling others that they don't understand. They don't understand because I never explain myself. They don't understand because of our experiences are too different. So far, to which was my reason. But it was avoidable. People have so much potential to do good and to be good by others. It's matched by the capacity to do wrong. One of the worst amendments I've ever done is when I thought so much of them and I've done so much wrong by them. There isn't a friend who can not only love you but tell you the truth. I haven't met anyone yet, but I hope I do. I'm sure there'll be more people I'd love that aren't or at least have my heart freed from shame, even if I have forgiven of past transgressions. My And I take everything to heart. I wish I had permission to write about it in all, in it all in detail. It could be something to leave behind for the future generations. I've always been living my life, and something bad has always happened. If I had to take a stand on something, I would fuck up this page. Protest only living conditions that reality had laid out already. I don't know who to read from. Bronte sisters, I'm unable to escape my own wrongdoings, my solace, my escapism, fantasy, and ode. To each poem I write, beauty and art does not compensate for the ugliness that I'll eventually experience again. How sad is it when feeling how pointless life sometimes feels, 
I don't know why I'm writing this in the first place. I don't have literary goals. I wish I was an orphan. Experience everything, including reading over theology, maddening grief, making humanity mad, a self-made disease. I applied Satanism into my life, not to worship the devil, but devotion to a Turkish delight. I'm all too eager in some respects of my character. I'm interested in Victorian melodrama, providing admiration to Jane Austen. Shakespeare will always outshine modern playwrights. Winter is cold, and summer is hot. The scarlet letter curse. I was predestined to be the mistress of those others. Oh God, oh God, why is it always I taste love and romance, but have never experienced a full stomach? Inspiring my very essence to be withdrawn without second guessing. People believe that I don't sacrifice rabbits or even do retarded evil shit. That firmly believes, like their deep convictions, that the sun will rise in the morning. That I'm made of divine heaven material to be amused walking upon the earth. Though the sun rises daily, I am dead inside, and only the passing of time. Seeking now, only deeper and more meaningful reasons to shun society from my personal inner life. I am a tall soldier to my own despair, to which even I am unable to escape myself. Seeing only beauty in people comes at a price of being permanently damaged by their ugliness. Trust me, I am failing, I am failing to blossom. A common shared trait. Memory's got me doing some seizing twitches, like demons exist, like in transparent ways. Reality rejects my very existence. No one lives, no one's life lasts long. The rules of a heart demand slavery. While I'm shy in my own confidence, people look upon me, not as a f- conform to the petty, idle, and cultural ideas of their own family norms, abandoning me in their angst. I am a fan of Glenn Gould. I'm deeply affected by life inside. Ideas are trapped in human potential. Inspiration does lie within the external, but cannot be intertwined, but separate. Nothing else. It's sin to recourse to the two in fornication. I've been living without faith, not even in myself. Reality is salt in my soul. I'm delicate. Doctrine to the beauty. Converted to the romantics, philosophy, philosophy, philosophy. Fuck. <laughs> nothing, no prophecy, nothing. Dwelling elsewhere, my mind is elsewhere. Never here, never in the present. My internal life is extremely. It's like my soul is on self-produced crucifixion. Now I'm here. Where is Solomon's temple? Eternally, poetry. It cannot be struck in this grief for the remainder of this of my life. How I've corrupted myself, where breathing isn't, where breathing itself has become a myth. I am unable to feel safe. I am alone, so it seems. It's mad. It's a personal affliction I am declaring in public. I am declaring in public. No heart weeps. I wish I could care as much about fixing another. Maybe we should all cry together. My manner is dramatic, meant for the theatre. When my experience has written the scene, my flaws are the tragedy. No one is watching. This is all too self-indulgent. Slavery? Personal slavery is priceless. Smiling devils. I'm very extremely introspective. It constantly acts on impulse. I don't think my death will be cruel. It takes charge to make a deal with the it takes courage to make a deal with the devil. To the biographer of my life, I am a clusterfuck, along with no glorious lineage, 
my reality is blameless. I am ruining my own freedom. If I'm a lotus, the speed of it is a constant broken ankles and slaps and spits to the base. Governing my own moods and my own thought process. I think poorly of myself, so I think highly of others. A character defect, I guess. There are greater people than me, even if you see something special in me. My flaws, my mistakes, my defects are extremely loud and they weigh what's good about me. As I am writing this, I feel extremely worn out, exhausted, feeling whatever I could do is pointless. Everyone is a liar. Life happens for and to others. And smile is now a small game, brain like flicker in the depths of my own memory. It's the knowledge I have of myself, breaking free from this mold, wrenching wrenching myself in anxiety and I lose my faith while everything is flickering past me. I've heard either success or silence is the best revenge. It's the silence in the success drawn with myself, jail and repentance and disrepair. I'm happy to be selling my soul to avoid another day with this. Against all odds, I'm still precious. In the devil I trust, I'm rebelling against my true self where I care. It's the disease of solipsism. People don't want to scream when they realise how they've wrong, been wrong. Scream when they realise how much they've been wrong about. Me. I've lived to the point of wanting to commit suicide. It's hard bursting into tears knowing no one cares. I'm pretty sure I'm the unsaved, not even death. Pure fiction is the lies we tell ourselves and are all too happy to believe it. The hard tragedy lies are the ones who we care about. No one is the answer. A wise philosophy speaks to themselves to see if it plays truth within them. When they open their mouth, it breaks perfect solace. It's a This is revealing a lot about you, you know that. No? This is revealing a lot about yeah, you. No, <laughs> it's pretty... Yeah, yeah. That's alright. Cool, I like it. Well, as long as you like it. Fine. Yeah, no, yeah. I do like it. it it's, it's deep and it's it's to a point and it, it's real. Yeah, well, when I cleaned up my act, I got I I got suggested I should learn how to communicate better. Mm -hmm. And reading and writing is the best, like, what I found easier to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's go. And suddenly, there are abused children, battered wives, the unemployed. A welfare state or a portion of it allows the absolves. Lacking effort to and formal publications of understanding towards mental illness, including the interaction between people, illiterate, working poorly, poorly paid jobs, even the, in, the, in, even the individual impact one has on the immediate world. So many people have internalize the lack of, of our internal life, allowing the body to mature, that in, that in despair. One, emotion, one emotionally attached to such flaws or vice, then pass, uh, what's passivity? Pass, pass, passivity. Yeah, passivity. Yeah, passivity. Yeah, passivity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then pass, <laughs> passivity. Passivity. Then yeah. passivity becomes first. Before despair and delusionment. Towards the immediate external. While death hovers over while death hovers 
all over us at all times. But hey, it's easy to look away. I've often done it myself. If it's if it's in arm's reach, why bother walking over? I've lived a life where I didn't see the interplay of ready-made standards and individuality connected to humility. I had failed in understanding. I could grow into originality without causing arguments with the family. To be a part of peers that I don't that I don't so come to another peer pressure or look down, uphold compassion, that it won't be entirely self-sacrificing in my cause, that any power I may have acquired could have been out of genuine respect that I could inspire towards others for good, or at least to be assistance to do the same. That won't lead to codependency or an adopted parent. Growth should never be aligned with personal risk, but the truth is relativism. If followed to eat, they apply. Like how love itself could change him for the better, the power, is, it's truly dormant until, though the question of telling if they're the right person, though you can't, but rather decide it than discover it. Sexual attraction isn't the same of a fulfilling relationship. A good man is someone independent of the world, pulling one into a frame. Not to the present so proudly, to find responsibility to move the hands of time somewhat forward. A tough one. Where does the value of human life come from? The paradox is that the answers aren't from a pool of mythological stories. Wow, awesome. that's even right. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I do like yeah. it. Don't focus on it. Puff your chest out. Focus on your heart. Regret everything in life that one and you have done. No one is ever born great. What are you going to do? Don't fuck with everyone you ever meet. Wrapping their heart around you. Busting doors open. Immortalized in shame. Don't tell them they're special. If nobody ain't going to start now, you never did anything, never popped nothing, can't coexist with yourself, press upon your consciousness, don't attach yourself onto another, you can't pay for respect if you have no history, addiction and troubles got your attention but you better live through another one, I ain't going to tell anyone your secrets, inside the mind, unable to escape it still soaking up trouble. To take life a little more seriously, something I should have done early, for the maturity reached a bit too late. My solitude seems so sweet. Now that I feel deeper, think more clearly, now I know what to do. I talk with more purpose, and we all want to be more enlightened. To command the tongue to articulate poetry, and hope every word uttered has another angel smiling. As I belong to myself in a devoted way, and no one can make me a home for themselves, as poetry should have told you by now. With his newfound eyes, all I want to see is pure intimacy. The hurt belongs to those who cannot heal from an experience in this world. Being blind to the remainder of the world that loves, becoming brighter, that love doesn't solve all, finding my days in regret like a mere mortal, a dark period. A poem knows how to stay, Realism is magical, becomes smaller than the idea of. And when one is too old for love and has passed one by, I illuminate the world by passing off wisdom, belonging in the loud as I was staying in Paris, to get away from the mundane. And if I think I could have poetry fall in love with me, I would take a shot in the dark, and if I fall, it's not that I am better, just don't look for me. Kinda like death. I've run away with love. Beyond the thrill of it, I knew I couldn't get away with everything. Darker the night, brighter the stars. The more heartbreaking the tale is, maybe I'll become closer to our dear Lord. Don't think I'll be the star in the night sky. That's here to swallow you whole. I have my own life to live, like the very first breath, twinging as one is chest to chest with a lover. It could be so hard, out of my mind. I was too much for you. Perhaps you weren't enough for me. Finally, I want to be alive. 
The intensity of love under question is to look over the quality of people being in love. But to love is to know you'll never come back the same. That mind is a lonely place. I wish I could remove the past, and no one is saying the struggle is going to solve today. Though I'll keep coming back to my mind. I adore forgiveness, but it's always repeatable. It isn't rebellious to love someone that you can't, and it isn't brave to leave someone that you can't do right by. And if there is love over at that other side, forget the set that I was born and those left behind. As the dogs are on the cross, like syphilis, I'm stuck with the reality of this life. But I love being in love. So far, it's trapped in poetry and owns the keys of war. Like the prayer with no words, chants or melodies, it's haunting and daunting. Now I know, now we know. Until we lose control, and as I scream, No! 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 Keeping it low until everybody needs to know. And eventually, something that you love is taken away from you. Got something to lose? Can't keep myself as I want to keep love. I will fall to the floor, crying in deafening ways. What a waste of time. Knowing it would happen, and afterwards, I told everyone that I was through. Only our dear Lord would know for the better. Is that what's real? But there's something beautiful in the way the poet won't stop writing. There is hurt here. And it can't be fixed. Tasting it in the ether. I'm pretty sure it's to burn the soul in the game it plays. Hatred from the tongue will slip at times in moments. Followed by a little whimper. Unfortunately, I cannot accept only half a life. Rain pours. The quality of the person you love are in shame. Gravity is strong. The yearning the poets have seems to send love flying in explosive ways. The late night calls made from fleeting emotions, leaving me crippled the day after. But it's the lies we tell ourselves, like in the way no one sees the ruins lay internally, of the wreckage in the past, or that no one seems to understand. With open palms, not the touch of the palms, no, the stretching of fingers, because of perpetuate sin. I can never catch the love I had told myself that I deserve. So it's locked down, in the stress. But before I marry, I curse the ex. Like a dope fiend under pressure, never running, throwing the poems in the air. I am too small to heal the trauma of the world. Even now, I frown as I come around. How long could I last on the wrong path? Still wanting to get splifted as the street workers get lifted. Time passes, hectic, and I can't call it. The experience is where the poem derives from, forming ivy wrappings. Nobody moves in this realm, and every lover that undertake ends up being so wrong. Instead of growing, I spend the time to note that they are at fault, and the talk is cheap. Not growing up, but I grew up. Maybe in enough time, I'll be a pagan idol for white trash folks. Even though I'll end up in the hall of shame, I am not made of metaphors. As I touch the flesh of poetry, Hands learn faster than any mind does, never leading a new school of a generation. Instead of revolving doors of lovers and unable to decide because in the Hall of Fame, flock of flames, I had told myself in entitled manners that perhaps if I come out the other side, I should end up with someone better. Read my mind and understand. No time to wrestle for understanding. So therefore we have nothing in common, and I forget there are independent minds who I have never met. It seems that they are censored, morphing into a mortal, always forgetting that there is a fine line between making an effort and harassment. My mood decides. The mystery lays within learning, normalizing it, then realizing that there is more. Bonding towards knowledge, committing it to me, it's an allure of an awe. There's so much ugly. People that I've known are dead. Some I haven't spoken to in a while. I could have done better myself, but I went off still. In spite, to make something of myself. Still, there's people who hate it, wrestling with it, having moments of failure, wishing in gradual ways the memory would fade. Now, when things have cleared, I pondered on the people that I once knew, wondered if I had hurt any of them. I had the same time as everyone else, dealt with reality, had the same access, and I have done what I have done with it. Weeping for I am without, Discerning myself with what's next? I don't know what to discover now. I'm needy. I'm craving. Moral democracy exists. I desire. I exist. I suffer. A longing and consuming anxiety. 
No drinking of bourbon can drown it away. So I had to give up the devil's drink. I am not a victim of anything. The matrix has expanded. Refining is another level. Only through character development will reality reward us. Or me, in this case. Raw beauty will always expose the ugly. Always. Maybe poetry isn't sleeping rest. Maybe the things that I wanted didn't serve me in a way I had idealized them. Perhaps that's a good thing. I can reach for something higher now. A little closer to heaven. A reclusion is wanted. So the drive of mindful narrative can go mindless in deep dark water. Lead you nowhere. Imagination will not solely lead to one singular place. What normally is hardly imagined. Hedonism is there. Hatred too. Tainted all with resentment that one had lived experience with. Nasty. Things are broken like glass, scattered over the floor, replacing the eggshells. The heart beats a little more fragile. Remaining posed right there to be remembered that reality is embellishing. The self-loathing is dwelling that one had bonded with it. Hating it all because it's enduring. Unflinching in the way it won't go away. This is what growth is providing. Not only the ugly, what once we call lovers, peers, and family had committed, but what one has done. A structure of recollection, using tragedy and poetry that has now tarnished the culture of poets. Hoping that existence will be ruined and it dies. Oh, why does one find the unhappiness of being hurt to find morality? We're vibing. Everything is uncertain. Nothing lasts forever. Good character is moral authority. But the abyss of life lies in sight of those of moral worth seeking to go further till we lose control. No escaping now. Though everyone don't need to know, perhaps the binding convictions that there is something more holier out there holding me back. At least seeking ways to apply morality brings light in the day. It's not the ugly of others committed to this world that's weighing me down. The fallacy of them amending it all that I tell myself is. Would rather be alone, unseen and never to go noticed by others' eye to reign in contentment. I was naive. The reality no longer exists. Not everything is set. No matter the wishing of such marble stones, those illicit positive feelings only are the ones who are fleeing from reality itself. I know it's kind of bleak to do with the harshness of everyone I'm going to meet that will die, but so much of actual finding moral character, that's the starting place. It's not that I'm no longer there, I'm elsewhere, finding ways to be better. I don't want to forget the past. That's the process of this present moment, departed no more. But we can talk about the future though, many times. Overlook traits, waves, day to day. Yet the normal never sees what they can do because it's as approachable as the roaches are. While so many people have their time taken up by menial jobs, loved ones in passivity, trauma dominating some, in the ringers of addiction, Sure, recovery has its place, riding till it dies. What can the ordinary do that allows breathing space for a wider world that never has reality swimming in such ways that will never lead people to such forms of existence? A personal despair. Life goes on. Ignoring won't let the despair leave. Ignorance is a disease. It wrecks everything. No matter the cause, a changing of ways. Sure, it's needed, but even reviled. Those who aren't willing to look away from the carnage, morals, fault, they're often the ones blamed for never curing ignorance before. Despite the track records of doing such acts of moral contributions, no one is coming to save one another. A person who doesn't grasp personal growth in spite will never understand the wrong they've committed. Therefore, personally, forlorning all forms of responsibility. It wasn't the fact I was too much for you. You were not enough. And I won't tell anybody. As some will commit something more than sin, even to human atrocities, to have a little social validation, to have compassion and moral contribution, even if it goes utterly unnoticed, never to be seen, just the results of those small acts of ethical ways. I don't know, rewarding in its own humility. For that, I'll be forlorning anything of power, privilege, and social status. Go out, live your own life. It might not destroy all forms of sadism, hedonism, vices, injustices, or society flaws, but it might ease some of them in time. Even the word consent has been affected into the wrong play. 
identity without substantial education or knowing the moral impact it can have often leads that individual not only being traumatized themselves, but polluting the world around them, exploiting good-hearted people, not worrying about impoverished areas of their character, cutting people off when they've become aware, diminishing their own capacity of choice or moral transformation because of their personal history that lead. And now, it's a far cry for that kind, as their home is so empty, cutting the class into skinny pieces, having their demons encouraging to cutting but vices in fact. Everything becomes ostensibly collective, like a harmony to a symphony waves of melodies. And then exhaustion happens. But still, angels have cleaner virtues than your church shoes and Sunday best. Unfettered ways of living isn't anything revolutionary because of the long line of people who have been here before. But when it's self-consuming, it will feel like a personal attack, all ironic. It's not the fact that we're all full of flaws, worried, and perhaps a little helpless, not knowing about tomorrow, the rent is due, deluded with some areas of life, defeated and humiliated in. It's the fact we don't want our friends knowing that about ourselves, as reality is around, clowning around you, hustling in your darkest secrets. Told me you loved me, but all you did was be ugly. I think you're confused. Please take your turn in crying. So many of us never realize that as we cause problems for ourselves, it gives a false sense of purpose in the ways of correcting it, or being a partner to someone with potential. It gives somebody not only something to look forward to, but a hope to tell lies to yourself. Like then everything will be okay, with dreams of being together forever, but to the outside world, it's whatever. As long as welfare keeps coming in, if one gets first dip into the pot, our own revelations won't solve the world's problems. A chaotic life, made from the elixir we all individually crave. Wanting to run away is the concurrent fantasy, never left to sell beside sex, can't complain. The enduring attraction of the wrong is the greatest sin, fallacy, injustice, no matter the word used, is humanity's greatest sweeping hurt. Those with the least meaning of life have a head start to do life where anyone else isn't doing, but a dick to enjoy, anyone who doesn't grow, diminishes personal freedom in the long road, build your ability to see ugly, then what's done in the dark will certainly come to the light. In a world where vices are for free and moral growth isn't thought of, life up, die out. Humanity's at its best, flickers back images of reality along the walls of a cave. The assault on humanity started years ago, left with superficial charms as the triviality of pop culture is something to talk about over coffee. There is no amount of wealth that can invent morals. This vent, Coming from an open wound that hasn't yet closed, weighing heavier than the after all, chaos and the destruction, maybe only wanting to kill the ugly. Life up, die out. No one is below dignity. No idea is above criticism. After moral clarity comes moral courage, as a price to pay for it. Loneliness to hatred is coming my way, changing the way that I pray. Not offended, I saw it from the gosh, just to be clear. Don't say I didn't tell you, hard to be near you, yet I still crave for moral development. Have the experience that's legendary, up from the block, never was a poet, till I graduated to be one, then bury me one. Don't weep for me then, for I'll be long gone. I don't want to die and come back, hustling with these lyrics like a game of prostitution, no longer on crack, going easy, already had a beating, though I'm scared up, I'm re-energized and kept going. Smile for me now. Wasn't it about poetry? But your flaws tarnished it. Now there's tragedy in those words. Now everyone thinks I'm crazy, using the symbols of letters, putting them into syntax. Hopefully sparks aesthetics. So what the fuck? Biting the healthy so you have problems to deal with. Now you turn on me? Creeping on me? Everything feels raw. Catching attitude to every time I wanted to readjust. Poems are visions of the poet's lived experience. I wish I wasn't so offended. I had time for you. Now I don't. Leaving enough space to spew hate. The culture above all. Riding behind character. Now there's injustice in the systems. When I confronted you, because your tongue knew only lies. Now everyone thinks I'm crazy. So what are your motives? Something is fishy. You wanted me to go with the flow. Frustrated when I rocked up. Not simple-minded. All you care about is another veil. But why do you even have time for bullshit? You're right. 
we're not the same. So now you can go fuck yourself. It's a good thing. Luckily, I never envy wannabes. Is it because you never know what to say? Is the rational behind lying? I regret letting you be in my zone. You had people in your life, yet you needed to take from me. Vucci Vucci, you chase toxic, like how AIDS is chasing you. Remember the wisdom of holy scriptures and ancient wisdom about not liking ugly? What are you here for? Had to go figure. We all know you can't stand yourself, so please don't come closer. No longer need to repeat because of the stigma attached to you. Avant God, social movement has failed you. A tragic poem starting out as defending of some boredom. Those experiences, you can never predict it will be under the sun, next to sunflowers. Tragedy doesn't have a face, but it will assault your most intimate parts of your soul by binding itself for life. Pain tinted windows as your eyes glare to the outside world. Poet, isn't healthy growth something that just happens? Not performing as a performance art piece. The guilt of the invisible. Could have been going it all along. An art piece, another way to redeem without touching those we had hurt. Hopefully that holiness reaches. The power to a man without further hurt. A cliche is the fuel for unwarranted romanticism. The poet is a confession. In modern memory, it sounded good at the time. My frustrations are simple, but the results aren't. Somewhere in the process, my emotions got the better of me. I've been burdened, now burdening. The amends took away time. Slowing down, preventing personal growth. What's worse, the damage caused to others. They're not even slowing down. Found reasons not to be themselves. If we're way down remembering the past, please, to every time we fell, we stood up too. While potential for growth seemed ambiguous, making the amends of our ugly sin isn't punishment. The changed perceptions from another, they remember. Time to grow, set in stone, moments pass in front of me. Life happening to others, glowing, happened to me in front of me. Knowing now, I'm not hanging out, hanging around. I'm just not there, life ain't fair. Life happens in moments just to others. I'm weighed down. Doing good in these moments won't set in good being returned. I'm just not there. Even though I want to be staying in Paris, lights glow, sure to thaw out, to get out. And I don't know if it's fair to leave. I got told that I could be whatever. I didn't want to be better. Just moral purity is what I wanted and loneliness is all I found. Being so proud, breathing in, just on the thrill of it. I could do anything. So I just did good. Hanging out under the street lights just to get away from the heartbreak. Could I just wait for attention? I'm sure life happens to someone else. I can't remember the last time my heart was full of love. Maybe I got nothing to lose. Do I have to go far? To find a moment of peace? We all make decisions. Still have the feeling I could be someone. I've been told it's the way it is. Someone has to take care of me. So I'm left with toiled hands and live out the rest of my days. Still got the feeling I could be someone. Poems, poetic hangings, I'm sure too overwhelmed beyond the visuals, but instead of contributing, it is contributing to heartache. Clawing on my hands until I write, seemingly to display what it is. Not been seen since, they're all lost to memory, forever. To be remembered, it's very real. I hope it's never during the formative times. If I had a sense of self, I've given it away to others, kept it to myself, or misplaced it elsewhere. I cannot wonder what the mystery is. Or finding the passages too. I can fathom reality now. I have been hurt by ugly. Now I am starving for healing. It's exhausting. Paints my pain in any way. It never leaves. Preach your ways of identity or the passing of wisdom. We are not in solitary. Not together. Not friends. Nor peer. I'm sure something with control. But it is sin. I fuel nothing from sinners or their sin. Still, we're individuals. I came to the person. Real. Genuine. Posh, developed, still, it amounted to nothing. We cannot exchange anything. I remain a stranger to you. Dare not draw from my wisdom, and you do not want me. So your wisdom has no value to me. You're a face of strangers. Doing wrong to genuine, strains love. Most of the time, a sorrow is uttered, but rarely do they repent. Reaching peak lunacy, another lie to get out of jail. Doing motions to break the ego. Reading poetry in the right moment. Invocation of so much. Take advantage of it. Over time, blessed. In mass, there is irony in that, which no one talks about. Embedding humility. Cheapening life itself. Some of the most hurt people will go on, turning thoughts into acts of passions. Philosophy. What was the characteristics of the philosopher had deemed such knowledge? Are they even real? 
I'm uncomfortable. It wouldn't be a lie that I only wanted love. For right or wrong, there are a few people I'll always remember. Can philosophy fix this? Wanted the limelight, so you cared about your reputation, got used to what you used to do, and now what's wrong is nothing less of feeling familiarity, rather than constantly mediating on your morals, keeping all the wrong around cause you say they know you. A devilish game. The beauty you have sex with, just a cover of a phony, polishing anything of a phony veil, just clueless people who reaffirm you rather than challenge you, an adult without substance. Now you're old, just memories of regret, rotting like weed, dirt at the bottom of your seed, life up, death out, you're nothing at all. Spent years and years of trying, now at last, not worthy, just with something to prove. Now you know, now forever that we now, as you're screaming that, no, no. You want everyone to know, others to blame. Something to know, something to experience. I'm trying to stack the poems, trying to wrestle with life. Without a sound, I slide down, exploding into poetry because I fear of what you're going to say as a snake's in disguise. Tell nothing but lies, feel me breathing. Since when is it my fault to what you've done with your life? There's no pleasure in pain. Overpack justice systems. If I can't hear you, I don't know you. I don't know anyone. When the neglect happened, I had avoided so many. There's a hurt inside, lasted for a few minutes. It's a past love. I want to make something of thee. Yet, you found comfort on the block. So anything that I do is now a source of resentment. Now you want to waste my time, but anything of intelligence and morality would know growth doesn't include disrespecting those around. All I have is ghosts to complain to. Verify all now. It will all die. And I think I did too much. My loneliness grows friends, inviting me out to enjoy the night. I sleep all day, disrespected because I couldn't lie or do no wrong. And I'm looking back, wondering where everyone is. And I knew it was easier to just walk away from moral courage. It's not the shadow that is burden, just what it's saying. Sure, I am broken. Still, I wrestle in, trying to do the right thing. There's a sense of responsibility and knew better to fall in love. But that breaks in the first motion of accountability. It's like so we can crash in the dark to leave a scar, in contrast to mere possibilities of almost like obedience, a broken record of smooth, endless paradoxes. For the vast majority of us that have hearts that beat emotions, will experience love in the same way. I think the normal becomes when one had never contemplated, question only when the norm is reaching rock bottom, put always at the time of death. Lay back in the smoker's room. I know you're not sure of attention, but to puff the chest out, just for a small moment, isn't worth anything. Be sincere with your actions, but think without ignorance. And never hold back, immensely and deeply, with clarity. Though in some way, we're all searching for enlightenment. Some are going through the hands of vices. Where simple breezes of hedonism and stupidity impress them, aren't they distracted? It is the norm to exchange morals rather than expand them. Not grasping a vital humanness of understanding would rather complain together than to personally grow but won't rock with another. No way, the world is cold. Human nature, no matter the talent, skill, intellect, or the awareness of the capacity to change for the better, like a monk or a saint, or simply socially respect. Still, in human nature, to do what one is emotionally comfortable in the moment. Remember, growth itself is at cost of something, even in the remembering of it. It seems morally futile to do good. There's personal dignity to find that drive to apply it in the day to day or try to become better for one and all. The irony of the intellectual class, for it to work properly, they ought to think independently to function for the greater. But any idea that comes from that conflict or for more, moral good to happen. All ideas must die, the fall go crazy. Any idea or social isn't discussed openly amongst peers leads to moral nihilism, the curse of the good. Sometimes the reward is the continuation to repeat the good. The rush of social validations is potent and addictive. Everything else is overlooked until social health is exhausted and only self-destruction is the way to go forward. In a world where wanting a moral compass isn't thought of, developing character isn't encouraged. As for personal suffering, then it's someone else's fault. No amount of forgiveness can remove the past. No amount of moral learning can fully wipe out our future wrongs. There is no greater hurt committed other than the ones who displayed love and friendship. You never did anything. Never pop nothing. You can't coexist with yourself. Press upon your own consciousness and don't attach yourself onto another. You can't pay for respect and you have no history. Addiction and trouble's got your attention? 
but you live through another. You ain't going to tell anyone your secrets inside the mind. Unable to escape, still soaking up trouble is hellish enough. Too much hope and illusions inside. Repeat, Hail Mary. You know the devil pays thousands for vices, but he paid five cents for your soul. My family is checking my bedroom. I'm not there. Fading gloom, a moon facade. I have a heavy heart. It's an influence of poetry. Reading and passing the soul, man. I think people's lives are overwhelmed by bullshit. Covenant and sacred. It's hard to be remorseful. Narrative, selfish, still somehow pierces me. Now, I'm distant, lucid always, but never lavishing of life. The size of mountains and the size of one armored nut. Emotions are afflictions. Innocence is too evil. A slow fuse. Life itself is never poetic. Maybe the soul of some people. One poem can relish one moment in life. Talks afterwards, trying to translate words into images. On a backdrop of vulnerability. Moods of feelings hardly express of a constant empty space. Beside waste, never to be Reject what I say. Reject what others have told you. My soul melted. I'm not as strong as I'd like to be. Sickness. The shade of brief moments of my life that I have lived. Let go. Like running water over my open palm. The wilderness of this world does not match or come equal to the wilderness of a person's internal life. Tragedy is everywhere. A facial expression is a, sh a shield for the soul craving salvation right now. That seems to be everlasting. It's relentless and seems to be obliging to us cry. That is a crying sob that will never stop. A violent life. Death is, is, is the final slumber. But what is death? We are moved. Wanting to drench humanity, things I've never experienced, silent center, inward conflict. I have an obsessive character, and I am consumed with my own self. I want to die. We're all traveling alone. A woman in poetry. Words here. Words I should have said. While in the present moment, an outbreak of pouring emotions. Discovering words. I gained words. The world gained my emotions, my regret, my shame, my guilt, my resentment. In bulk, I will write poetry, never releasing them in a singular fashion. I not only want love and romance, but contentment, living memories, happiness. I want to be divorced from pain. Life is short. My regret is so large. I love the arts at least. I can contribute to that. Never again will my personal history be repeated. I have a long way to go. Will death be my only answer? As I know, youth belongs to the young. Death, or should I say dying, isn't an adult thing. Life goes on, incomplete. I have more to mourn for, even when faced with my own death. I mean, don't you know something is coming along? That's going to completely throw you off. There's an inherent quality that life has to bring to us. No need to protest it. It won't change. With cigarette smoke filling my body and fading my lungs, I'm writing these words. Pockets full of answers, discovering new values. I'm far too gone to belong to another, yet I learn to love for a Along the string of moments that stemming life forms, I leave this here. I'm carrying over, leaving this here. At the time of my death, I hope people find this, to know I had lived in some way. I am far too intelligent to, to fall victim to be, have, having faith in an ideology that thinks for me. I had thought, went out and did. 
to know what I ended up in life at this point, I've never asked for, never expected, originally wanted. Some, I wish it wasn't. It is as it is. This is life in simple English words, reading well, such as your very own emotions. There's few free holy things that you cannot pass up upon. Conducting, or should I say trying to conduct. It's a really lonely thing. I had read the two final words to speak proper and well. I fully accepted being sad or yearning in solitude. It isn't unique. Actually, it's become more normal as the mass learned to read. Are my words only written for you? The tone, the structure. I don't know what my agenda is. I feel everything. Maybe I'm only randomly searching for my own original thought through the act of literature. Maybe it's my wishful thinking of hoping to encounter something magical like a muse before my own death. Isn't there another way to say that I'm fearful of just being lonely? Some things are meant to happen. Hashtag that. The representation of human nature is far beyond literature only. The words written here are only such a small part of life. It's not even the size of a single grain. Traits are everywhere. I'm yawning, I'm excited, I'm asleep, I want to impress. Those famed poets will never be a cure for such human acts of anxiety and death. No matter their mastery of words, philosophical messages behind them, nor the narrative, Fiction or not, leaving behind raw handwritten notes to my lover, still I think everything about you is poetry, loaded with heart beating life. Expressions here, metaphor pushing, poetics in my voice, living, transcendental. Judgment Day has not arrived, beauty is in the flesh, flushing from my character. My hair is done. So I spoke up and I spoke with elegance. My attitude is mutual. Listen to me and I shall pass. Mystique, but underwhelming. Like I'm familiar to you. You've heard my voice before, I've always been here. My art won't be cemented into gold marble. Perhaps salt on a wound in a long Yeah, buddy. Come on. Haven't seen you around. Hey, hey, matey. Hey, buddy. What are you up to today? You want some food? Can't give you any food, little buddy. You've got to have seeds. Hello. Hello, mate. Hey. What you doing there, little bud? Hmm? I'm sorry, I don't have any for you. No. I wish I did, but I don't. Come on. Don't bite me. You can't eat me, buddy. I haven't seen these guys around before. Mm. Hey. It's okay. We're not going to cook you and eat you. Mm. No, mate. No biscuits for you. Start eating humans soon, hey? Yeah. <laughs> right. My finger probably didn't taste that good for him. You've heard my voice before. I've always been here. My heart. My heart won't be cemented into gold and marble. Perhaps 
salt on a wound along the way to an afterlife. For I still pray, rendering me poor. Be with me now. I'm not in love yet. Will I ever know it? I'm realising tension in the meantime. I don't want anything to be anything painful to be felt. That should be a, a good enough reason never to feel again. And why not? Love on repeat. The mind is hazy. I've read letters of lovers that had once been shared between them. I was at war. My mouth dropped, cried tears of, of joy reading them. Knowing that love had a moment of existence. Salute, lover, you reign in the kingdom few have ever known. Why can't it be like this in the movies? Why can't it be like that? These words suit better if I was telling you in person. Never again I will see you. Poetry has always been underrated, like Rumi. Being pulled from the abyss and torn into the light and conflicted, I have found my own values. War with universal morals. The muse will not save me. At that moment, this is the best I can do. I can mourn and I can want. Leave me alone. The sun is finally leaving this land, going behind the line that we all call the horizon. Glitter in the night, sky, shark. Glitter in the night, sky, sparkle. Tragedy is everywhere. It's not normal. That's the tearjerker around. It's a daily act of human events. I do cry inside and I do want to be held. That's all. Death reigns on Praise it. If you like my heart, then I'm so sorry. I'm going to give it away to my muse. Because I was too much for you. That's what lovers do. Fuck it, why not? Plus, you left your heart at home. I wanted everything. So no one gets hurt. My muse is unforgettable. Because I was alone with it. And I got to tell everyone. It, it's like you don't know anyone anymore. I took the price tag off and made my love priceless again. I'm not going to take the in-between. Sleeping under the cover, how I'm so far away. Heartbreak is so different to what you were once. Kisses are so cold. Like, your tongue isn't speaking. What has it? Speak your truth so the ether knows it as well. You know a gold girl already. We're going to do what you're unable to handle. Now you're an old day every day. What the fuck am I doing there? Sorry. <laughs> um, isn't speaking. What has it? Speak your truth so the ether knows it as well. You know a gold girl already. What you're going to do with a real woman wouldn't be able to handle one. Now you old job every day. Old day and you leave. After all, I'm the one you can't handle forever. And carrying on with being an adult. Contentment? We all want to fly with you, to be high with you. We all know your face. We all scream your name. Never again are you alone. To every boy who broke a girl's heart, I'll stand and punch their mouths. Now I know better, forever. Who knew? I remember when Grace Kelly became queen. Audrey had to smile, smile for the first time. I wish I could call everyone a friend. Pictures of smiles burn in my memory. Please smile for now. Now I'm heartbroken writing heart-touching poetry that's given me fame, fortune, attention. Now I'm immortalised in pictures. Red lights, lust and lies, though anything happens under the Hollywood side, though everything generally does. Despite myself pulling my own finger into this fame of yearning and pity, a person's character could be so dominant at times, flushing with celebrities on the covers of magazines, late nights, vices and nude. We all want to shine. Can I really blame people for trying to get what they can? So far, it's the story of my life. Sorrow 
in my soul. It really seems to love hanging out there, but it kills me inside. No one is below dignity, though. No thought is above critique. One of my regrets and addiction is the length of duration of defending myself by telling others that they simply don't understand. They don't understand because I never explain myself. They don't understand because our experiences are too different. So forth to which was my reasoning. But it was unavoidable. People have so much potential to do good and to be good by others. It's matched by the capacity to do wrong too. One of the worst amendments I've ever done is when I thought so much as them that I've done so much wrong by them. This isn't a friend who can not only love you, but tell you the truth. I haven't met anyone yet, but I hope to do so. I'm sure there'll be more people I'd love that aren't wanted and people I'll hate without reason. Being angry or rage isn't something to be ashamed about. It's part of you based on those that make shame or perhaps the reasons behind your feeling sick things. Like most, I wish I too had a few moments to learn, rather the duration of life that I live to learn. When you love someone, tell them and put it to work. Action out of love is the best life to live, but don't tell people so. To have to have feeling better than you, act on love for no love felt for them. Even if you do love them, but put aside, but put your side of the street is unkept and can't be that person. It's better to wait to tell them. When you love them for what love calls for, then to tell them, having them hurt knowing you're always elsewhere clean. When it comes to love, there is a difference between helping out and taking care of. I really don't know much, but I do know that becoming original comes at the detriment of not knowing so many people. It's funny that when you meet someone while having, while having a rock bottom, they've done so much, but they don't have the heart to let them stay once the dust settles. If you're constantly getting in cycles with the rock, make more than the courage to break it. It's acceptance to step outside and try something normal and continuing with that. A stain is a stain. It doesn't mean it's ruined. But if it's blood with a virus that stains it, you've got to leave cloth alone. You're not the cause of that stain, neither the doctor. Let it be. Don't be fooled by the leftover beauty that you bring that is saving the blood-stained cloth. When I'm anxious, it's normally because I'm feeling something real. When I'm anxious around somebody, it's normally I've never met somebody so real and I'm, I'm afraid to fuck it up, which normally happens when I'm left burnt in regrets. Continuing the anxious feeling of remembering. Isn't it harmful to know that someone's hurting you because they thought of you as such? but can't be brave enough to speak up and not allow to grow. It hurts because no matter what, you are just happy that they were in your presence and that they were speaking to you. There's truth in social media, but I think most people don't want you looking at their mistakes, their personalised failings and their defects of character. Just because it's known and normal, it doesn't make it right nor healthy. One of the going at their own pace, but your own. The only way to slow down, to be a change. Most of all, I think it's not compatible. When you meet someone special, it's okay not to give up, but it's not cool to walk away. When one says it doesn't fit, what's stopping you? One of the ugliest not things I've seen a woman do to lower herself in a relationship is talk to men and think it's normal, using the good period as an excuse to stay and turn a blind eye for the sake of equal right, right 
one of the ugliest things I've seen a man do is know that some women's allowance. No one really knows the damage is caused by imitating unhealthy relationships. If you can't be special alone, being special doesn't mean anything. Sometimes it's good to agonise over regrets. It's a reminder that one is human. Prevent it from another time to keep in mind. And in similar situation when it appears again, own up and be honest. Secrets are made for everyone but not everyone should know, especially the ones who are upfront about their own. Don't tell them your own secrets. When someone comes into your life unexpectedly and provides something magical, they're for a reason. But to throw them away, away like garbage because they're too close, you're the one missing out. Focusing on the differences is telling one someone the greatest success anyone can achieve is developing an original personality while having the ability to love, whilst being loved. In the presence of absence is the best time to reflect. Just because someone has more for wisdom of you, it doesn't make them better people. It's one area of life they're leading on. When it's public, it's public. It belongs to everyone. Interruption and all, right or wrong. That's why gossip is still a part of our lives. Just because someone has done something good for you or there's duration of good times, it doesn't mean they're good for you. There is no other carry-on than the weight of someone's flaws and toxicity. More often or not, the good is to cover that up or for the other to forget. While in that cycle, no one can ever be told. Everyone birds builds a persona over time. If you can't look beyond the mask, then you'll never understand the person. If it's not known, you perhaps have never experienced it before or never been petty to witness it. Though I don't. Don't let that stop you from growing or learning something. Plus, we still have to live in reality. It could be a humbling lesson of accepting one is wrong. See it in all, all the time. The person isn't my type, so it won't work. None of my peers speak about that culture thing, so it's wrong. They don't understand, whatever the case may be. It's something new or someone new. But one thing that is certain is one's personal history and human perceptions are full of flaws. <coughs> You've got to be open to new ideas and new people, no matter how scary living in a new way is. Otherwise, life will become bland. Growth comes with new. And when the past or present being truthful to oneself becomes hurt, and angry and negative and everybody around becomes insecure. You're norm you've normally found something right for you. Like growth within yourself, people want... You can't tell me that I don't give a lie to both. People want you as it is worse for them, at their pace. Just because you help someone get out of its shell, it doesn't mean you help them. Save all them, either from death or from exile. I, I write nothing, so I see nothing. I am unable to look after myself. It's my personal past, my unbearable thud of me. Do not tell me nice things. You'll end up leaving. Nothing to do with me. You fail to be honest. Poems, do they are flawless. My hero isn't proud. I can discuss 18th century thinking. And I do admire Tory Taylor. I'm born alone. I live to own. I'm going to die alone. This is the story of my life. I won't wake up happy, but I do dream of smiles. You're lucky we didn't see you. I didn't stop.
This is the story of my life. I won't wake up happy, but I do dream of smiling. Over a lot of horror, terrified to talk to anyone. I am a society of emotions, and I am wanting instant gratification. Nothing I do, not even poetry, is therapy. My struggle is a struggle to be content. Surrender, accepting, working from my flaws to deny them. It's easy to resent yourself. It's my relationship with reality. It's one reason I got into literature. When I talk to people, I cannot find the right words to use, either the tone or the inclination. I guess the way people are treated can change or make. I get the way that people are treated can change or make or destroy the value of life itself. Don't forget, politics is largely itself made up of words. I don't write poetry to help form my character. I want to avoid showing my character in my poetry. I would rather people be a part of my life. Maybe I can't come to terms with who I am, despite my preference prolific ability to write poetry, I have no direction in life. Loose on the ones that have directly wronged you. Do not accept forgiveness from them. I'd spent my entire life around people who had pretended to share and they had pretended to care. The feeling of realisation they did it, I got confused with living in hell. Now it's just like its trust is a tantalising myth. People are nothing to worship. I am delicate and fragile and I'm sensitive to the cause of this. I do blame myself for it too. And I take everything to heart. I wish I had permission to write about it in more detail. It could be something to leave behind for future generations. I've always been living my life. Then something bad had always happened. If I had to take a stand on something, I wouldn't. I'm sure this is now distilled in me. In my own culture, moods and thoughts, my moonlight investigations, no sunlight dimmers. I have dwelled for too long, diseased and solipsism, all because I wanted to discover myself, seeing myself at night, after a couple of sunsets, rendering being unattached. I wish my poetry wasn't written with bitter tears of vinegar in my hands. And I regret the people I've met and who have left or who I have left. Now I know who I am without or at least my, or at least have my heart free from shame. Even if I am forgiven of past trans transgressions, my personal fear has me worried and trembling on in times of calming and peace. Turmoil forever, vanquished grief, loathing always, pity me nothing. It's like I've actually died inside, remaining speechless when I cry for help. No one is ever converted. In a palace, I can weep for myself. I would rather no one else would do so. Bark and Mozart? They didn't break up with them, let them rumble. I blame no gatekeepers, no master, no idea for culture's sake. I blame the people. I blame the people who had me wrong. Anyone else? I blame myself. Sad existence forsaking literature. I could not translate to film nor lush or moving sympathies. Defaming no one besides the life I could have lived. Like anyone else, where I use words instead of just sobbing to a caring shoulder, like, like what others do. And now I'm addicted to it, to each poem ever written. I deep moan, an ode you could say, an idea, a wish, something to aspire others to do and to be better, without the poet doing it themselves. 
a pleasure to read such sweet words, a bandaged private pains the reader won't even admit to the poet. Protest only living conditions that reality had laid out already. I don't know who I am. From the Bronte sisters, I'm able to escape my own wrongdoings. Solace, escapism, fantasy and ode. To each poem I write, beauty and art does not compensate for ugliness. I'll know I'll eventually experience it again. How sad is it we're feeling how pointless life seems sometimes. I don't know why I'm writing in the third place. I don't have literally goals. And I do wish I was an orphan. Experience everything, including reading over theology, maddening grief, making humanity mad, a self-made disease. I applied Satanism into my life, not to worship the devil. Devotion to the Turkish delight. I am too eager in some aspects of my character. I am interested in Victorian melodrama, providing admiration to Jane Austen. Shakespeare will always outshine the modern playwrights. Winter is cold, summer is hot, the scarlet letter curse, I was predestined to be the mistress of those others. Why is it that every time I taste love in romance, but I've never experienced a full stomach. Hey, uh... You choose what's next. No worries. And now that I know what you want, yeah. and I'm more refined and deliberate, yeah. I think in probably in this one you can see the difference from when we first yeah. started to eight hours later, later. Yeah. And what the delivery is yeah. and how you want it and so on. And, and it's all right. And you can pick the day. Yeah. I was really hungry. <laughs> yeah. It was one day. No, that was one day. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I should have to use it. Sorry about that. How many hours did you get today? Sorry? How many hours did you get today? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, didn't keep track, yeah. And that is a wrap. That's a wrap, yeah.